continuing here under the sky of Varna. And the next battle, battle number 12, will be in category 85 kilograms. The rule set, KWU full contact. Your referee, the legendary Mr. Peter Arts. And now, let me introduce you the fighter in the red corner. From France, Daniel Cross. We're heading on to the co-main event. We have another debutant from France here in the ring of Senshi, Daniel Crost, who is uh, one of the few fighters uh, that will step in the ring of Senshi that have competed in Thailand. He's a tournament champion of uh, Emperor Chok D, uh, K1 rules, and uh, he's also a kickboxing champion of his country. He will face the very tough opposition of uh, Edward Alexanian from Bulgaria. Uh, the uh, last local fighter that was step in the ring here in the ring of session. Representing Varna here in his home, hometown, we hear his crowd cheering for him. His friends, his family gathered here to watch him, looking for another victory here in the ring of Senshi. Edward is 26 years old. He won his Waku Pro European Champion K1 title in his category here on the ring of Senshi in 2021. Edward is two times national kickboxing champion and Savage's kickboxing champion. Okay. He has six the, wins in the most running man arc. tonight, left and right. Daniel Not Scott, only that you have to run out. so much, Edward, but you had the hardest matches to referee, oh, man. Good for my condition. No yeah. <laughs> oh, All right, so we had another debutant from time. France stepping Make into the noise. ring, Daniel Cross, oh, and now we have oh, Edward oh, Alex oh, Anyan. We'll be looking for Edward another victory in the ring of Senshi tonight. Veteran, veteran for Senshi. Yes, definitely. Yo, Edward Alex Sanyam, representing Varna, his hometown, oh, his nice. friends and family in the crowd cheering for him. That will definitely be a support for him. He's 11 years younger, uh, but has a height advantage of 10 centimeters, as we see. Let's see if it will work out for, well for him. We saw that his opponent looks pretty big for the, this weight division. Yeah, well, if he's that much smaller, then <laughs> probably he's a lot of a lot a lot. Uh, he has a lot more muscles or something. Yeah, yeah. And most of the fighters are athletes; they don't have so much fat. These guys also don't have so much. To, so you should think that he physically he would be stronger. So but this is KW full contact rules, and uh, this means no elbows. Uh, Daniel Cross is one of the few fighters that uh, competed at Senshi that have also competed in Thailand and uh, competed at Emperor Chokdi uh, tournament. But he cannot use his uh, Muay Thai background elbows here in this fight. No. He would have to rely on punches, kicks, and knees to defeat Edward Alex Alexanian. Let's see how this fight will go down. We see Edward taking the center of the ring, pushing his opponent to the corner, trying to be the bigger man. Uh, you say you say that he cannot uh, use the 
the elbows, but for sure he can he can use the knees. So. Yes, yes. But Edward is uh, putting the pressure. Oh, on. oh a nice body shot. He landed a couple of those uh, just a few seconds ago, yeah. but this one was the one, one that really this one hurt. Put his opponent and away. It looks like he, he cannot get up from it. Yesterday at the open workout, is that it? I think so. Yes. That's what he's already cheering. <laughs> And it was a great shot. Yesterday at the open workout, I saw him doing those uh, three or four punches with the left hook, with the left hook and the left uppercut that you do, that you showed. Okay. And I was like, wow, that's crazy power, crazy speed. Yeah. I wouldn't want to feel that, but Daniel Cross felt it tonight, and yeah. it was definitely not pleasant for him. It wasn't. Yeah, it's nice, nice well placed. That can happen and only it's, it's a nice good session. shot. It's my favorite shot actually. The body shot, uh, the left I body shot. I want to see a couple of the body the shots before that. Yeah. Uh, the Daniel way that uh, he landed it okay. and he gave him the confidence to look for it even more. And he really, really committed to this shot. Yeah. And this paid off dividends for him. Edward Alexanian. I think it's a, it's also a, it's it, it's a move many fighters forget to give, and, um, and it takes all the air out. And it, it hurts so much when yeah. you get it. Yeah. Um, then and yeah, you cannot continue. I'm happy it never happened to me. In the fight. <laughs> it happened to me in the training in the beginning of my my career. Yes, uh, but uh, in the fight uh, for my luck. Uh, I was hurt a few times, but never like this. Yeah. Great job by Edward Alexei and his team. Yeah. For sure. Very well played tactically. He did pushed on the pace, made him opponent respect their power from the very start, right off the bat. Yeah, it is like... Uh, like a shot like that is is basically if you know it is quite easy to make but most fighters forget it yeah so it's nice that edward uh, showed it uh, to the crowd here